I'm gonna tell you the hardest thing for someone making good modern designs that actually will improve the world, okay? So I spent tons of effort on this and I can show you this all day long. It is not impressive even to a mechanical engineer or a systems engineer or a software engineer, but it's so important. Okay, you have all the people that you can talk to about your design stuff. And then you have designers, and inside that subset, you have the designers who are using, facing the same problems as you. These are the people we want to help because these are the people that help everyone else. But in order to even talk about it and get an inkling of curiosity from an audience, we have to at least capture the interest of the average people. So, like I'm doing. So a huge effort goes into making this the right way, not the physical thing in your hand, but the code that sits behind it. Having nice code behind this was harder than anything else in the project. But then the average people will say, I don't see the purpose of this thing. And then, so you have to build a use case just to show the purpose. And then that use case also will not be impressive, but maybe it will capture the attention of a few nerds who want to do something like that. This thing here is a nipple band-aid. Yes, it's like this product. Crazy sounding thing that covers your nipples and prevents chasing. We have millions of runners and some of them are the best. They ran so far that they join the marathon and they win the race. And then People talk with that person because they have some credibility and ask, what is the hardest part? What would make this easier for you next time? What should we improve? And he said, the actual most painful part of that is that my nipples are hurting. Who is gonna believe that the hardest part of long distance running comes down to chafing nipples? So someone had to design open hardware and then distribute it and then teach it and then get people adopting it and then see those learners building and see where things are hard for them. So then we come back to the engineers and ask, help us improve this. And they don't care. Professors don't care. Technicians don't care. These guys think they know how things work because they know how things used to work. And so we really have to do this for years and years. These guys are the everyday runner that said, well, I ran a mile and that's not important. And then the, re the problem solution is rejected. So if you're on board, we are going to become all of these things. So get ready to call yourself a full stack hardware developer.